Today, we'll explore the CEO of Align Technologies purchasing company stock valued at approximately $999 million and we will try to understand how the company makes money and evaluate the pros and cons from its recent earnings. Align Technology designs and manufactures the Invisalign system, iTero intraoral scanners and services, and Exocia DCAD slash CAM software. In last quarter the company had a revenue of $749 million from Invisalign and $165 million from iTero intraoral scanners and services, and Exocia DCAD slash CAM software. Zooming on income statement few positives are total revenues of $960.2 million, up 7.8% year over year. Clear aligner revenues of $794.9 million, up 8.5% year over year. Record clear aligner shipments to teenage patients, up 8.4% year over year. Gap net income of $121.4 million, up 67% year over year. Gap diluted EPS of $1.58, up 65 cents from Q3 2022. Align saw strong growth in teenage clear aligner volumes but overall volumes were lower than expected. The company is reducing expenses in light of weaker consumer demand but overall results were impacted by the deteriorating macro environment. Zooming on cash flow statement net cash provided by operating activities of $738.9 million, up $314.9 million from the first nine months of 2022. Indicates strong core business operations. Cash and cash equivalents increased $297 million in the first nine months to $1.24 billion as of September 30, 2023. This gives the company financial flexibility. In summary, Align generated strong operating cash flow but continues to invest heavily in the business through capital spending and acquisitions. The company has a solid cash position but is using cash for stock repurchases while managing the headwinds of foreign exchange rates. Zooming on balance sheet total stockholders equity of $3.8 billion, exceeding total liabilities of $2.5 billion. Shows strong shareholder capital position. $1.3 billion in total cash, cash equivalents and short-term slash long-term marketable securities give significant liquidity. Overall the balance sheet appears strong, with ample liquidity and working capital. Few positivities from the earnings call are total Q3 worldwide revenues of $960.2 million were up 7.8% year-over-year. Increased adoption of subscription-based Invisalign doctor program. Few negatives are weaker demand, especially among adult patients and deteriorating macro environment. Despite soft consumer trends, teen and younger patient business was strong across all regions, up both sequentially and year over year, primarily due to continued adoption of Invisalign first for kids as young as 6 years old and even with some headwinds there are positives and also Align Technology stock is at near one year low and the CEO might be thinking stock is undervalued and might have purchased the stock.